Let's go now to News Channel 3's Madison Weil. She's live with more from Dr. Cameron Kaiser, who made that announcement this morning at the County Board of Supervisors meeting. Madison. Yeah, Angela, Dr. Cameron Kaiser delivered that disappointing news earlier this morning that we're simply not meeting the coronavirus numbers necessary to stay in the red tier of reopening. That means that businesses such as restaurants, movie theaters, gyms that were just allowed to resume indoor operations will once again have to close their doors or move operations outdoors. Dr. Kaiser did praise the community's efforts to increase testing and education. He says we have to continue those efforts if we want to improve our numbers. Kaiser also clarified what this move back into the purple tier means for our local schools. With respect to schools, those that have already opened during the red tier may remain open, but a school that has not yet opened may not. Instead, the waivers program will return to operation today to accept applications for school waivers for the grade span from transitional kindergarten to grade six, and I will continue to review them personally. So let's talk about what exactly happened and why we're moving back to purple. To stay in the red tier, a county must be reporting between four and seven new cases per day per 100,000 residents. We also need our positivity rate to be between five and eight percent. Our current online numbers show our positivity rate is 5.9 percent, so we're actually meeting that benchmark. Unfortunately, it's our new cases per day calculation that was just too high. Currently, Riverside County is reporting an adjusted 9.2 new cases per day per 100,000 people. Kaiser explained this morning that number is adjusted because our testing average is lower than other counties in the state. Again, another reason why health officials are pushing for more testing. Now, Dr. Kaiser says that now that we're uh, back in the purple tier, we're going to be here for a minimum of three weeks. He also says that businesses have 72 hours to now make these new necessary changes. Live from home, Madison Weil, News Channel 3. All right, Madison, thank you.